Ocean Steve Leader, I don't think that... You said a frozen ocean, right? This place doesn't seem to be looking like an ocean or frozen, really. Doesn't really look, see like, looks like there's anybody here. Yeah, this is just the meeting spot. So, are they gonna show up here? Do they come in boats? Ah, here they are. Wait, what are they? Is that a, is that a boat? No, it's not a boat. What are they doing? Is he walking on the water? Back at the ocean, Steve's. Now, just wondering where exactly I'm gonna have to jump in. Here, let's get rid of this. Shield won't need it for a bit, hopefully. Hey, right, let's just write. That's a problem, I think. I do not have another water breathing. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can deal with that. There was air in the throne room, so I'm just gonna have to hold my breath until I get to it. I just have to find where, where it is, somewhere under the sea. Um, wait. I think. Oh, I think that's it. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, I just gotta swim over the top. Just don't think about how deep the ocean is, and you'll be fine. Just keep swimming. Don't, don't look down. Just keep going in a straight direction. Don't worry about any of the other things. You're fine. You're fine. Just be right above it, so I have to swim the least amount through the actual underwater. Okay, there's the, there's the entrance. I think, right? That's the entrance. Sure, hope so. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> that was a lot deeper than I expected it to be. Hello? Ocean Steve? Oh, hi. Hi. Sorry, I don't mean to barge in or anything. Ah, cool. Welcome back. Hi. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a problem. I, uh... <clears throat> Are you alright? I'm, I'm okay now. Luckily, it was a little deeper than I expected, and I'm not too much a fan of heights, even if it's underwater. Sorry. <sighs> I didn't bring any more water breathing potions. I'm not sure if... You can probably use this better than me. I see. Yeah. Um, I, I came back not only because we had an appointment, sort of, but also a friend of mine and I, Beef, another elite of the Red Steves, we were at the Desert Steves, and this lost inferno showed up once again, and to save the village, we had to drive it off, make sure that it was no longer interested, and this time, we actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Yes, the lost inferno thing you told me about last time. Yeah, that one. But now we actually fought it two on one, and we came nowhere close to actually defeating it. We fought, and while we thought we could get the upper hand over it by outflanking it, Beef was targeted for a bit, and let's just say that we're lucky that he's still with us. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but we realized something. We realized that if we don't do something about this, this thing is powerful enough that it will eventually wipe out the Desert Steves. And if we don't do anything about it, it will eventually come for all of us. Not just them, it's the Forest Steves, it's us, it's the, the other Steves that you talked about. I don't think the Lost Inferno is much of a trouble to you specifically because you are under the water, but for... For the sake of you and your people, and the fact that if we don't do something about this now, you'll eventually be the last thieves left, I have to formally ask that you join us in this fight. Because we have a way that we can utilize your people's power relatively safely to near no threat of yourselves. You'll simply be damage control, making sure that the fires don't spread, that the there's a steve village that doesn't get destroyed too far, and while the rest of us focus on actually fighting it. I see. I know this is much to ask, and I haven't known you for a long time, but I'm just trying to do the best I can here for everybody, and a lot of people seem to so unconcerned about the well-being of other Steves, and... Well, I really hope that you think differently about that, because we're not going to be able to handle this on our own. Well, it's still risky for us, but as long as none of my people are put in danger, 
I suppose I can't accept. That's good. In return, it's not a one-sided deal. Not completely. I spoke with the Desert Steves and they're actually coming up with a way for your people to travel further. To the chance that you might actually be able to be visit or visit the Forest Steves in their village. And, well, the Desert Steves in theirs. And, well, the Red Kingdom is luckily sea-bound, so you can show up there whenever you want. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are currently working on a tunnel, one that leads directly from your village to theirs, and eventually, I think that is something that we can talk about, this network might be able to be expanded, and it won't be just the Desert Steve village, but you can be connected to all of the other Steves. So it's not just a one-sided deal, but before that, we you'll be out of harm's way as much as possible, but we do need your help in this fight, and I thank you for consideration of that. Then, I will help. Are you sure you... I mean, you can send any Ocean Steve, if any of, the, of them have the power that you do, you don't have to put yourself at risk like that. Not per se. I, I imagine you're the most powerful, but I also can understand that if you don't want to risk yourself, because you can't leave your people leaderless like that. It's alright. I don't want to put any of my people at risk either. Well, in that case, you're a lot more empathetic than any of the other, uh, any of the other leaders. Really. Uh, thank you. I'm not sure. If, have you gotten a message back yet from those other Steves you were talking about? The ones above the frozen ocean? Which you told me were not ocean Steves, per se. Uh, I'd like to meet them. Yes. The audience was accepted from the Steves above the frozen ocean. Okay, that's great. If you would like, we can go there right now. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. We're, we're going to have to deal with this problem sooner rather than later. And the last Inferno can return any day now. And um, I'm going to have to be at the surface if we're going to do this. I imagine that you would have difficulties with, uh, breathing. So, here. Wait, you... Oh, great. Thank you. I didn't actually expect that y you manufactured these. But that's great. Thanks. I will actually be able to, uh, to breathe. Uh, well, in that case, lead the way. Um, Ocean Steve Leader, I don't think that... You said a frozen ocean, right? This place doesn't seem to be looking like an ocean or frozen, really. Doesn't really look, see like, looks like there's anybody here. Yeah, this is just the meeting spot. Oh, okay, so this is just in between places. This is not actually where they are. That makes sense, because this is like an island in the middle of the ocean. By the way, this, here, you can take this back. Maybe fill it up with another, one of those breathing potions, so that whenever I come back... I can, you know, breathe in. Sure. So, are they gonna show up here? Teleport here? I, well, I guess not that. But wh where, are they, where are they coming? Just give it a moment. Are they approaching from any direction? Are they swimming? Are they... Do they come in boats? Because uh, Desert Steve came with boats. I'm assuming that's that's how you found them whenever they were out sailing. Although that would be very dangerous for them, considering the fact that if they go into the water, they turn to mush. Or mud. You know, they, they said mush, but I said mud. This, this seems to be normal. It's awfully quiet. Ah, here they are. Wait, what are they? Is that a is that a boat? No, it's not a boat. What are they doing? Is he walking on the water? Uh, is that ice? Oh, uh, hi. That is impressive. I'm assuming that's one of your powers then. Huh, interesting. Uh, good to meet you. Hello. Never gets old. No, well, I'm assuming not. It looks pretty impressive. Uh, hi. My name is Cole. I'm a Red Steve. Big surprise, I'm aware. Uh, Ocean Steve uh, told me here that you, he, they knew of another civilization. And I don't know if, it, if he told you much, but I'm kind of going by whole groups of Steves and kind of like le learning and getting to know the fact that there's, you know, other people out here. Yeah, I've never met you before. That's... No, that's that, that's true. Uh, who are you, if I'm... If I may see, be so blunt to ask. This is the person I told your village about. Oh, so they already know about me. That's that's great. Won't be as much of a shock. I am Winter Steve. It's good to meet you, Winter Steve. Uh, as I said, I'm Cole. I'm a Red Steve. If you don't mind, we request an audience with your leader. Can you bring me to your village? I am i don't have a boat with me, so I'm, uh, do you have one? It's a pleasure to meet you as well. And yes, I can. Great. Uh, Ocean Steve, thank you for this meeting. I will be con contacting you soon enough whenever we have to start dealing with the whole Lost Inferno problem. See you later, Cole. See you later, Ocean Steve. So, you have a boat or something of the sort? Because, you know, the ocean's pretty deep and I don't want to really have to deal with that. Nope. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Are we going to swim then? Because I'd like to stay close to the bottom, but I don't have any more water breathing potions. We're just going to have a nice, calming walk. Nice calming walk, are you sure? Because this doesn't seem a whole lot of safe. And the ice is disappearing behind us. Yes. Uh, Winter Steve, the ocean is very, very deep. 
And the ice is breaking behind us. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll hurry up. Don't worry about that. The ice is breaking behind us. I'm just... I'm gonna be making sure that I will not be... Oh, next time I'm bringing a boat. Next time I'm bringing a boat. Oh, boy. Are, is, are we going to be ha walking the entire route like this? Just over the ocean until we get there? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the center of this whole thing. Oh, this ice is breaking. Just... Hold up! 